noisy environment of this children's play area run by former DJ Jason Kinch gives him some relief from the tinnitus which has plagued him for years. Without the background noise, all Jason constantly hears is this. Jason from Loughborough damaged his hearing while working for years as a DJ in clubs around the world. Now I've learned to deal with it. Um, around about 10, 12 years ago, I, I, I had a very, very close to having a nervous breakdown through it. It really affected my life. It took over my life completely. All you could hear was the actual noise because that's all you listen for. There's no cure or treatment for tinnitus, but academics here in Leicester have spent six years researching it and their significant findings could lead to a drug being developed which could treat the condition. The team looked at the signal between nerve cells in the ear to parts of the brain that decode sounds. After exposure to loud noise, the nerve cells in the brain continue to fire erratically, so creating the sensation of constant noise when none exists. The research has identified the specific reason why the cells aren't able to return to a resting state. That is really exciting because it's really, it was unexpected. So it was really like, oh, we recorded these cells and we didn't know what to expect really. So we thought, oh, let's just look at the pattern of, of activity. Let's just see how they behave after an exposure to sound. And we were not expecting getting this erratic behavior. So as we got that, it was really uh, a breakthrough. With the increase in the use of things like iPods, researchers here in Leicester say they expect the number of tinnitus sufferers to also increase. So the ability to treat the condition with drugs would help hundreds of thousands of people, something that would mean the world to people like Jason. If you could find something that it could even temporarily stop the noise that goes on in your head, it would be an absolute life-changing experience. Sarah Teal, East Midlands Today, Leicester.